Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm giving you this pinky orange wearable look. It's, I think it's a nice look for date night and I do use one palette to achieve this look. So I think that's awesome and I also use the highlight from the palette. So if you'd like to see how I get this look, then just keep watching. All right, so the first product I'm gonna use is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. And then for a little bit of moisture, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. To conceal my pores, I'm going to be using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Vanilla. And I'm going to mix it with the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Yukon. I'm just gonna mix that with the BH Cosmetics foundation brush and then I'm gonna put it on my face. And then I'm gonna blend it with my beauty blender. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Light 1-6. And I'm going to put that under my eyes, on my forehead, on my eyelids to prime, on my cupid's bow, and under my chin. And then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. To set, I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder in the shade Banana. I'm going to put that under my eyes, around my smile lines, forehead, basically my T-zone. Then I'm going to be taking the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Press Powder in the shade Medium with a Morphe E41 and I'm going to set the rest of my face. To bronze and contour, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. To contour, I'm going to go in with this shade and my NARS Eda brush. And then to bronze, I'm going to be taking the Morphe R2 and this middle shade, and I'm going to bronze up the face. And then I'm going to be taking this BH Cosmetics Large Shader Brush with this middle shade. And I'm going to contour my nose. So I'm going to be using the Morphe R10 and a mixture of these two shades. And I'm going to put that under my eyes, along my forehead, under my contour, and my chin. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in with the BH Cosmetics Duo Fiber Brush. For eyes today, we're going to be using the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition Palette. Mine is very well loved. So let me zoom you in so we can get started. Alright, we are going to be taking this shade on the Morphe M511. And we're going to be putting that in our crease. Now we're going to be taking this light brown shade with the Morphe M504 and we're going to build that up in the crease as well. And then just quickly back in with the first brush to blend all that out. Now with the Morphe M433, I'm going to go into this darker brown shade and we're going to put that lower in the crease. 
And then back in with the second brush to blend that out. I'm gonna take a Morphe little pencil brush and this dark brown shade. And I'm gonna put that in the outer corner. And then I'm gonna take the Morphe M433 again and I'm just gonna blend that color out. Okay, now I'm going to take this shade with a MAC 242 brush. Just put a little translucent powder under my eyes in case I get some fallout, I can just brush it away. And I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus and I'm gonna pack that on the lid. Yes, love that. Now, I'm just gonna go back in. I'm gonna deepen up the outer V and blend it a little bit. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm gonna use the Morphe M433 in this dark brown shade. And I'm gonna put that along the lash line. Then I'm gonna take the Morphe R31 and this brown mixed with this brown. And I'm gonna blend out that darker shade. Then I'm gonna take the very first shade that we used and a BH Cosmetics pencil brush and I'm gonna buff all that out. And then with my MAC 242, I'm just going to flip it on its side and I'm going to take a little bit of this shade and I'm going to put that under my lower lash line, right at the front. Yes, just like that. Now I'm going to take the Blush Bazaar palette from Tarte and I am going to use the shade Exhilarating, which is right here, on my Luxie Large Angled Brush. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner with the Sigma E32 and this sparkly pink shade. Now I am going to highlight my cheekbones and my nose with this light pink shimmery shade. Now I'm going to spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Now for lips, I'm going to line my lips with the Kylie Jenner Lip Liner uh, in High Maintenance. And then I'm going to use the Palladio Casey Holmes Lip Collaboration in Georgia. Alright, I'm going to go run and do my hair real quick and get dressed and I'll show off the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think it turned out so pretty. I love to travel with this Carly Bible palette. I think that it has great transition shades and lots of shimmery shades and then I also usually count like this one and the gold one as my highlight too. I love to travel with this. I took this on my honeymoon when we went to Europe for 17 days and I just think that 
It has all the colors that you need, um, especially like when you're traveling, you don't necessarily need like a black all the time. So I think this is a really great palette and I think the look turned out so cute. Well guys, I'm gonna go get some food. My hubby and I are going on date night tonight to The Nook. It's a restaurant around the corner from us. I'm really excited. It's like Italian food. So we're gonna get some pizza and they have this like butter cake. I'm super excited. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload a video, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. And I hope you have a great day or night, wherever you are. Toddy buys. See that? I just got it on my dang nose.